Hey guys, Mix here. Today I'm going to be showing you my new engine. So I just got an engine for the mini bike build. Uh, it's used, but it, it runs. Um, and if you're watching, whoever, you know, who gave this to me, thank you very much. So I'll show you the engine right now. Alright, so here it is. And no, it's not Predator. It was just in a Predator box. But this is a, a, a engine off a Coleman mini bike. I believe it is six and a half horsepower, but I'm not 100% sure. But it does run. I think it runs a little bit too lean because I was just running it before. And uh, whenever like you go full throttle, it will backfire and, and die, which is a uh, you know usually a lean problem. So I'll show you guys it running right now. All right, so it's running right now. It runs pretty smooth, but it's only at like half choke. And I rub it up a little. And that thing right here at the end, it's a new secret part for possibly the Baja. So it runs pretty good. I just maybe need to do maybe a carb cleaning or a carb adjustment. But now that we have the engine, uh, now we could put the rims together because I got the bolts for the rims and we could put reassemble the engine, the frame. So I have the uh, stars bolted onto the rims. And as you can see, you know, one side has the uh, screw side and one side has the bolt side. And I wish I was able to do both sides, like one side bolt, one side screw. But uh, since this one's all messed up, you know, the star, I and I kind of shaped it back to a little bit better. I didn't take in mind of you know the mounting ho holes being able to line up on the rim again, so they were a little messed up. So I had to put them through this side and then some through this side for it to fit. Now I'm gonna mount this star onto the back rim and the sprocket onto the back rim. So before I put on the sprocket, uh, I needed to let the sprocket bolts dry because I painted them blue because I thought it would look better. What I could do now is start you know, assembling the, the uh, frame. I can put the handlebars on. So now I have the handlebars and the seat all mounting up, and now it's starting to look like a mini bike again. But now what I'm going to do is, since my bolts are done drying, is I'm going to mount the sprocket to the back rim and the back star to the back rim. So the rear star and rear sprocket is uh, are both mounted. So the painting is pretty much done. But what, what I want to do quick before I uh, move on to the frame again is fix uh, what's going on with this engine because when I full throttle it, it kind of bogs down and like dies. So what I want to do is I, I added a spring to the governor arm to see if that would help because it seemed like the governor arm was yanking on the throttle, but that didn't help. So what I'm just gonna do is just turn down the uh, like idle, not idle, but throttle screw just to like it'll full throttle to where it's like maximum point is before it bogs down. Alright, so I just did that screw right there to its like maximum point where it like will stop the throttle on. And now I can do its fullest throttle. Like that. So now that we got the engine all situated, now I'm gonna cut off the old chain off the uh, off the frame because I have a brand new chain for it. So now I have the chain in one piece and off the mini bike. Now I'm gonna put the tires onto the mini bike.
Alright, so the mini bike has its wheels on. Everything's back together, of course, besides the engine. But this looks so much better. The paint is all done. And this looks so much better. So next part, I'm probably going to be installing the engine, of course. Um, maybe even taking it for its first test drive. it has been a pretty good build series so far. We're only the third part in. I already put it back together, all painted. It looks so much better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, share friends with the channel. Thanks for watching.